So you're considering a move to North Idaho and you're wondering what Hauser and Hauser Lake have to offer for you. Well, if that question is keeping you up at night, you're in the right spot. Today's video is all about Hauser and Hauser Lake. Look at those views. Hey guys, Kristen, myself, the rest of our team, we get calls, texts, and emails every single day from people just like you trying to learn more about North Idaho. So hit that subscribe button, tap the notification bell, stay up to date on all of our latest content. And if you're looking to move right now or 12 months from now, give us a call, text, or email. We would love to help you make that smooth move right here to North Idaho. All right, guys, a couple of quick facts about Hauser and Hauser Lake before we jump into some driving shots, some drone shots, and show you the rest of this cool little town right on the border of Washington and Idaho. So Hauser Lake, originally named Mud Lake, that does not sound very appealing, was uh, renamed after a guy named Sam Hauser, who was the governor of Montana, and it was incorporated in 1947. So not much going on here. The population is just about a thousand people. We are in Kootenai County, Idaho, and just for direction's sake, we're about 21 minutes to downtown Coeur d'Alene, 30 minutes to downtown Spokane, and a 40 minute drive to the Spokane International Airport. So location is really good, uh, particularly for those that might work on the Washington side and live on the Idaho side, this will be a good place for you. Like I said, it's right near the border, so that's a big plus for a lot of people. And you're very close to Coeur d'Alene, uh, Post Falls, Hayden, Rathdrum, all of that stuff as well. I'm standing at the north end of Hauser Lake here. I figured this would be a good spot to talk about some of the details of the lake itself. Uh, first of all, check this out. Look at this is so beautiful. So duck hunting is pretty common up here on the north end uh, during hunting season. As you can see, the uh, habitat here looks perfect for ducks. Lots of marshy stuff. I'm seeing some farms up back in there, tucked into the hills and then up into the mountains. Uh, Washington's, well, let's see. Yeah, I guess more that way, but it is up, you know, the border is actually pretty close up here. So back to the lake, here we go. Uh, Hauser Lake, it is 625 acres, 40 feet deep at the deepest. So it's not super deep, uh, really good for fishing, boating, swimming, kayaking, stand up paddle boarding, all of that stuff as far as water sports. And in the winter time, ice skating, this does freeze over. So you got ice skating, ice fishing, cold plunging. My partner Eric always cold plunges in Hauser Lake because he lives up this way. Uh, so he's in there at uh, like four in the morning every day. That's pretty rough, it's dark out at that time. This north end is a wildlife sanctuary as well. So you could come up here to watch ducks, geese, moose, whatever running around up here. So really beautiful, really quiet, peaceful. I can hear a train whistle in the background. It's kind of nice. Hauser Lake itself does get algae blooms in the summertime. So that's something to keep in mind. There are times when you would would not want to swim in it because of that. I don't think it's super common, but it does happen. So it's something to keep in mind. Also the boat launch, I'll try to get over there for part of the video. There is a public boat launch and a swimming area. We've also got close to public land for hunting and recreating. So there is a ton. So north of Hauser Lake goes into what we call paper land. It's owned by lumber companies and they harvest the trees for paper. That's why it's called paper land. Uh, so you get into that area and you can hunt and you can recreate on paper land. Usually you need a permit, but it's super cheap, like 10 bucks. And then you can access all of that land for your own use, which is fantastic. And that's another wonderful benefit of living in North Idaho. Check out that view.
Right, we can't talk about Hauser without talking about Embers on the lake right behind me there. That pizza place is phenomenal. Amazing atmosphere. Uh, it is really close to the lake. You've got views of the lake. Let me show you that right there. Uh, great time in the winter and the summer. The summertime, that lawn is filled up with people drinking beer, eating wood-fired pizza. Like I said, it's a great family atmosphere. It is absolutely something you need to check out over here in Hauser. We also have D-Max, which is uh, more of a bar, pub, food. Um, that is also on the shore and uh, it's family friendly as well. They've got a full menu and a full bar over at D-Max as well. So you've got Embers on the Lake and D-Max as far as restaurants here in Hauser. Both great options. All right, let's talk about nearby stores. So what do you do if you live in Hauser? Where do you do your shopping? Like, how's that work out? So good question. Closest grocery type store is gonna be the uh, Super Walmart in uh, Post Falls right there on State Line, which is also next to Cabela's, so that's cool. Those are like 10 minutes away, maybe less really close. Um, we've also got Rathdrum, which is about 10 to 12 minutes away. And Rathdrum has a super, super one grocery store, gas stations, uh, you know, lots of restaurants and stuff. Rathdrum is its own city as well. And we're close to Post Falls. So that's another option, you know, within five, less than 10 minutes, you're into Post Falls uh, with everything that Post Falls has to offer. So there are plenty of options really close by. Hauser itself doesn't really have any kind of stores, grocery stores, things like that, but just something to keep in mind. It's a really, a really short drive overall. I'm at the city or the public beach and boat launch right now. Super pretty out here, I love it. Next big question that's gonna come up, what about the weather here? So we are very close to Coeur d'Alene, Post Falls, and I've talked about the weather there in previous videos, uh, and it's pretty darn similar. Average rainfall is 22 inches, average snowfall 40 inches, 176 days of sun per year. Today happens to be one of those days. Look at that. We're almost, we're at the very end of December here, and we got a beautiful day. It's cold, it's about 41 to get it today, but it's, I mean, that's not that cold. I'm wearing just a hoodie and uh, I'm doing just fine out here. Highs in the summer in the 80s, 90s, of course you'll get over 100 occasionally, that does happen. Uh, and then lows in the winter average in the upper 20s, 30s. Like I said, it's the end of December and it's 41 today. And I've been in the lake twice today, not bragging, just, just what it is. And we got a beautiful sunny day out here. What does housing in Hauser look like? Uh, good question. So median home value is 266,000. I got that off uh, niche.com and to be honest with you, maybe. I bet you it's, it's creeping up quite a bit higher than that at this point. There's a lot of new developments. I showed you the Ridge. Um, that's one of the newer developments and those homes are all right around a million, million plus. Um, so that makes me think that median home value is actually a, a bit higher here, but there are some homes. I, there's a single wide trailer for sale right now in the area. That's about 120,000. And then, you know, a few other things. There's not much on the market right now. That's why I'm not showing any homes today. I found one for almost 4 million, but you really couldn't see it from the street. So that wasn't worth showing. And other than that, some new builds that are coming up over at the Ridge, uh, by Timbered Ridge homes, by the way, 
This came up recently. If you're looking to move to this area and you're, and you're looking for a new construction home, we can represent you in that as well. And it's always better to have your own representation. If you go to a new builder, they'll always try to push you to use their agents, but their agents work for the builder. So that's not the best thing you can do for yourself. So it's always better to have representation on your own. So come to us. We can still help you with that and help you in that new build if you want. Um, just a little tip for you there. That happened recently to me bummed me out back to housing so median rent 835 a month not a lot of rentals out here uh, 86 percent of the people that live out here own their own home so it's not a that's not a common thing but there are a few i know there's some airbnbs on the lake out here uh, as far as long-term rentals probably hit or miss on that but we're so close to post falls i mean mm -hmm, just go over there median household incomes 54,000. so that's about an average uh, with the rest of kootenai county which we are still in Kootenai County, by the way. I didn't mention that earlier. So that's your housing market. Pretty on par with Kootenai County in general. All right, last big question of the day schools what are the schools like in hauser well just so happens our partner eric happens to live over here and his kids go to school in this school district and so i got that information directly from him which is always the best way to go because schools are, are as i've talked about before it's really hit or miss or it's an objective thing so it's it's dependent on the person somebody might like sports somebody like might like academics so it's always better to get that information from somebody that has kids in the school district lakeland school district is the one that services this area and it's one of the highest rated in the states believe it or not so that's kind of cool there's uh, Twin Lakes Elementary and two other elementary schools in in this school district. Then you've got Lakeland Middle School and Lakeland High School all right here. We're also really close to multiple private schools, including Kootenai Classical Academy, which is over in Post Falls. That is, uh, that's an interesting new school to check out. That could be a good option. And then, believe it or not, Liberty Launch Academy right over the border in Washington is a private school. It's very conservative, even though it's in Washington, don't be alarmed. That's another good option as well. And I'm sure there are multiple other private schools that I missed. And of course, homeschool options are very popular here in North Idaho. So just throwing it out there, schools are great in the area and they are plentiful options for you in that regard. Hey, thank you guys for joining us on this tour of Hauser and Hauser Lake. Pretty cool little gem tucked away on the border of Washington and Idaho. Really centrally located, close to Coeur d'Alene, close to Spokane, close to the woods. And you've got a beautiful lake right here as well. Pretty quiet out here. I can hear a train whistle in the background. It's really peaceful. And there are a lot of good home options here as well. So I would keep my eye on this place because I think it's gonna be a kind of a next hot spot here in Kootenai County based on the location and the natural beauty of this area. Hey, thanks guys for joining us. And remember, if you're looking to move right now or 12 months from now, give me a holler and let's get that conversation started.